G'day and welcome to Wine Week. I'm Danny. And I'm Brad. And I'm going to do a wine that you can't buy yet. So why are we doing it? Well, because you will be able to buy it. This is the Gioconda Warner Vineyard Shiraz, the 08, which while as it's available to order now, you won't get it till 2010, May 2010. Because Rick up at Gioconda does it in the French style of on-premier. Basically, you put down your money and you say, yep, get it to me when it's ripe and ready to go. And next year, that's going to be the starting point of when this is ripe and ready to go. Because this is a wine you could lay down for 20 years. Absolutely no problems. Now, a lot of the Giacondas available either screw cap or cork. Make your own call as to whether or not, if you think you're going to lay it down for 20 years, whether cork or screw cap is better. A lot of debate, personally. I'd probably put them down in screw cap. I know Rick at Giaconda told me he'd prefer to put them down in cork, but wow, maybe get a couple of each. But yeah. they're 80-odd dollars a bottle, the Shiraz, so it's not a cheap wine. It is a brilliant wine, let's face it. At $80, it better be. A lot of people rate the Giaconda Vineyard as one of the finest in Australia, and I can see why they go after that. The Chardonnay... You know, I copped a bit of an ear bashing from a few people when we named the uh, the Lewin Art series as the best Chardonnay in Australia last year. They said the Gioconda should have been the one. <sighs> Jeez, if you're uh, getting to A, B, the two and work out which one you prefer, you're having a bloody good day. But the Shiraz, massive, big, meaty, violet, so much going on, a mouthful of that, and you can sit there for five minutes just working through all of the things you can find in it, and you can have a load of fun over an entire bottle. Yeah, and it is one of those ones that if you do want to get onto it, get onto it early, because, you know, they do sell out every single year. Yeah, they certainly do. Right, well, I'm going to move to a more expensive, um, a more inexpensive Shiraz. We'll go to the uh, more the bottom end. And uh, this is one that's year in, year out recently has been a, a bit of a favourite of ours, and this is the Seppel Chalambar Shiraz. Now, it's one of those wines that um, Seppel have been known... Look, they've been around for 100 years, well, longer than 100 years. Uh, they've been known so well for their fortifiers, for all sorts of other things, but in the last sort of five to ten years, their table wines have really, really started hitting the mark. And and this Shiraz here from the, uh, the western region of Victoria is an example of a really good bargain red that you can pick up. In some places you will find this discounted very, very heavily, some of the big chains, maybe even as low as $15, which is just remarkable. For the quality of Shiraz grapes that goes into this, recommended retail is probably more around the mid-20s, but if, if you see this at less than 20, go and get it because it's a sort of uh, Shiraz that it's an easy drinking style. It will also reward cellaring. Put it down for five years, it will gain complexity. Uh, it's, a, it's a really good effort from uh, Seppold again. So um, good work on the Challenge Bar and give it a go. Yeah, that one you'll find on a lot of restaurant wine lists because it becomes such great value even when it's marked up kind of you know, 100% or more. You might find it at only 40 bucks on a restaurant wine list and it's great value if you're having to go that way, if you can't do BYO. Now, speaking of BYO wines, this is one that I regularly pick up because it's available at so many bottle shops. This is the Pusey Vale Eden Valley Riesling. Now, we've talked about this before, and that's because I'm such big raps for it. Love this wine. Love it lots, as we might say. Um, you know, when I go out to dinner down in uh, Yarraville, drop down to Yarraville Cellars, grab one, go in, Take it in as a BYO, just a beautiful wine, those classic Eden Valley style. So a bit flinty, a bit minerally, nice and dry, uh, lemon, lime, a little touch of orange blossom in there, just classic flavours, beautiful Eden Valley, so dry, so crisp, so fresh, and it's an absolute ripper, under $20 all the time. I think we paid like 18 and a half for this bottle, which is about as expensive as you'll find it. If you see it at 18 and a half, buy it. If you see it at like 15, and you will, Buy more than one because it's just a rip of wine. Yeah, look, I've even seen it down at twelve, and at twelve dollars, it's you can't go buy. It. You can't. You just you just got to buy, go and buy ten of them. Yep, you certainly <laughs> do. Anyhow, that's it for this week on Wine Week. We'll see you all again next week. See you next week.